Alright guys, what's going on? Got another video here for you. This is for your PS3 running custom firmware, uh, CEX or DEX base, or, well, I should speak in the terms of Rex or DREX, because this is for rebug custom firmware on your PS3. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is running PSP ISO files from native XMB uh, with a little added program, which is right here, the PSP Launcher Fixed Version 2.0. I will have the link in the description below as well as the updated rebug toolbox link, the 02.0212 uh, rebox toolbox um, for download as well. So what we're going to do right now is just plug in a USB, which I've already done, and we're going to prep our files. So first things first, on the root of the USB, uh, let's create a folder called PSP ISO in all capital letters. This is where you're going to place your PSP ISO. And as you can see right here, I have my Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai uh, ISO file right here for my PSP game that I've already copied over. So we're just going to leave that. This uh, little PNG here uh, was actually created with the PS3 system. So uh, I'm just going to delete that real quick if it lets me. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that because I'll show you how it does that on the system. And uh, that's that. So once you got your ISO in place, you can get any ISO you want. Um, where you get it, I don't care. Uh, and then aside from that, what you're going to have to do is, I've already done that already, which is uh, copy over the rebug toolbox, 020212. And uh, the other thing we're going to need to copy over is this PSP launcher. So we'll just drag and copy that over and copy that PSP launcher over to the USB. So this PSP launcher here, this is meant to be used with Cobra, which I will be going over everything on the system as well before we go and boot our actual ISO. So uh, that's pretty much that, and uh, without further ado, I'll meet you guys over at the PS3. Okay, so here we are back at the PS3 system, and simply what we're going to do is we plug our USB into our far right USB uh, port on the PlayStation 3 and what we're gonna do is simply just install these couple of applications and uh, we're gonna run them so uh, but there's a little bit of backbone in between so what's first so first things first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our package manager here and we're gonna go to install package files and we're gonna go to standard installation from the root of the storage device which is our USB and we're gonna install our PSP launcher and we're going to install our rebug toolbox. Now I've already done those things so I'm not going to go ahead and do that because what's the point and I'm just going to scroll down here to my rebug toolbox and just run your rebug toolbox real quick. Okay so once we're inside the rebug toolbox go over to the right one uh, and you're going to go to selector. What you're going to do is set your system mode to rebug. You're going to set your XMB operation mode to debug if it isn't already. Skip the next two because we're not going to worry about that. And here's the important part. Cobra mode. Make sure that is enabled. Toggle PS2 emulation. Cobra. That's what it needs to be. And toggle webman. Make sure that is enabled. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable that real quick and then I'm gonna re-enable it because I want to see if my list actually refresh okay and then once you've done that just come back up to the top here and select quit and now your console is gonna do a quick little reboot okay so once we rebooted Select your user profile, which we were just on, and you'll notice that it says webman has been loaded, which is a good sign because now our webman is working. So what we can do is we can go up here and we'll see our webman games now. This wasn't existent before. It was because I had it enabled, but like I said, I wanted to see if my list refreshed. So if you scroll down here, you'll see PlayStation 3, which are all the PS3 games here uh, I have on my HDD. If we go down to PlayStation 2, you'll see my PS2 ISOs, which is my Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then uh, we have our PlayStation 
our PS1 formats, which can either run off of ISOs or bin files, which is cool. Uh, and then last but not least, we have our PlayStation Portable games, and it will show you the path of which they are. This one's HDD0, and this one is on my USB still. So, how do we get the ISOs over to the HDD? Very simple. What you're going to do is load up your multi-man. So, let's load that up real quick. Alrighty, so now that we're in multi-man, this will be your main screen that you come to. Uh, so simply just scroll all the way over to the left if it's not already and select this file manager MMOS. Once you got that open, oh, we're already at the HDD0, let me exit that real quick. Uh, select the PS3 root, double click on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll over to you see your USB drive. Double click on that and then the PSP ISO folder that I had you guys make is right here. So what you're going to do is double click on that and open that up and you will see your ISO file there. What you can do is hit circle on that and hit copy. And then once you've done that, return back by two directories and select your dev HDD0, which is this right here. Once you've selected that, scroll down and you will see your PSP ISO folder. If you double click on that and open that up, you can see this is where I've pasted the Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai ISO. And the system already has made me a nice little PNG image for it from upon the first time I tried to load it. Which is cool. Some games it does that, some games it doesn't. Now, in order to exit this little browser screen we have here, just hit R1 or L1 once and it will go back to your game selection. Now, your games for your PSP ISOs aren't going to be listed under games. They're going to be listed under retro. And as you can see, we have the Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai right here. But we're not going to load it out of here because for some reason, Multiman says that it needs an update. And I believe 2.0 is the latest version. So we're just going to exit right back to the XMB. If I can find the quit button. There it is. Alright, so just quit to the XMB and we're going to boot our ISO through Webman. Alrighty, so now that we're back at the XMB, what we can do now is we can go back up to our Webman games and we can scroll down to our PlayStation Portable formatted games and select the Dev HDD0 PSP ISO uh, for Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai. So I'm just going to select that. The webman will open up and hit yes to close the browser. It has been loaded to the PSP launcher. And we should be able to select it right here. Uh, but for some reason it's just not letting me do that. I don't know if I have to put the program in the subfolder or not. But it is mounted to the program because it does work. So we go to our PSP launcher here and just hit X to start it. And you're going to get that little error message there. Just ignore that. It's not big of a deal. It's going to leave and voila. You have your PSP ISO running on your PS3 using the Cobra version 7.5, I believe, is on this firmware. Because it was 7.3 something on the last rebug. I don't know, whatever. But it's Cobra 7X. We'll just go with that. So, congratulations. Now you have PSP ISOs running on your custom firmware PS3. And I am hell of excited to play this game again because I loved this game on PSP. So rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoy running your PSP games on your PlayStation 3 running custom firmware. I will be coming out with a video about uh, installing custom firmware over your 482 official firmware uh, running on the PSP, uh, PS3 Slims and Super Slims and then being able to toggle your QA and go back and forth between firmware like we do with the CEX based custom firmwares and that should be later this week so yeah I'll talk to you guys later and enjoy